in whispered tales at party's end. He learned the truth from a careless friend. A history hidden now laid bare of love's betrayed without a care. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, am I the a-hole for calling off my engagement because my fiance hangs out with someone she had no self-control with when it comes to S-word fun. But before embarking on an expedition to knowledge and many people's bad choices, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Stay to the end for my complete rhyme and verse take. So let's begin the journey. Unlike some of my other videos, I'm pretty much going to read the complete story, then comment. I called off my engagement because my fiance hung out with someone that she had no self-control with when it comes to S-word fun. Am I the a-hole? My girlfriend and I have been together for about three years and were engaged. We celebrated with our friends and we all got a bit drunk. During the celebration, one of her friends started revealing some information about my girlfriend's past. The friend mentioned that my girlfriend had finally managed to control her garden tool side and that she never could control herself around a particular male friend, whom I'll call Bob. Hi, Bob. Now, everybody, take a shot. In the comments section, let me know if you know which TV show that drinking game was based on. I learned that Bob used to hook up regularly with my girlfriend. After we got home, I asked her more questions about controlling herself. I had to press her and she confessed that she had cheated on previous boyfriends with Bob and Bob had cheated on her as well. Oh well, that's a healthy dynamic you want to be a part of and marry. She admitted that her exers never found out. Bob and she still hung out from time to time as they had been friends since college. Now, as her boyfriend who was her fiance, I have almost no trust in her. I asked her for the ring back and she insisted that nothing had happened with Bob since we got together. However, after learning all this, I just don't believe her. I broke up with her. I told her that I needed to see her phone if she even wanted me to consider staying with her. I went through her texts and messages and discovered that she had messaged Bob about missing him a year ago. Bob asked to meet up after talking about all the S-word fun they used to have and my girlfriend only turned him down because I had moved in with her at that point. Her message read, wish I could, but my name, moved in. I'll let you know if I get the chance though. I'm done. I packed my stuff and I'm moving in with my parents. High five. Good for you. The most powerful thing you can do is walk away. My girlfriend apologized for those messages and insisted nothing actually happened. Yeah, sure, only because it couldn't. Thanks for all the support, by the way. Also, I swear to God, some of you could catch your significant other butt naked with the wrong person, but as long as you didn't actually see them having S-word fun, you'd be like, 
Well, there's no evidence they actually smashed, so they clearly didn't cheat. All right then, no, you are not the a-hole and you did everything right. Let's go down a fact list, shall we? Wait, before I do, take a moment to enjoy one of my more positive videos which shows good women do exist called The Ideal Love for Men, You Need to Be This Guy. Reaction video number nine. And drop a like and a comment when you do. There should be a black bar above me for you to click on to go straight to that video. So back to the fact list. One, she has admitted cheating on past boyfriends with a guy she still hangs out with that she never mentioned while engaged to you. To me, this suggests a pattern of risky behavior and perhaps thrill-seeking personality. The cheating behavior might also be indicative of fear of intimacy or commitment. Where she sabotages her relationships when they start becoming serious, it also screams at me it is an indicator of hypergamy, seeking the best possible partner, where she keeps Bob as a backup option in case her current, that would be you, relationship doesn't work out. Worst case scenario, she perceives you as her beta nice guy chump who can give her the best lifestyle and security. Two, lack of accountability. Oh well, she's a woman. Now, those women who mommy and daddy taught them to be accountable, men hold in high esteem. Trust me, ladies, a lot of us men desire you and value you, but I digress. The girlfriend's actions and her response when confronted only turning down Bob because her fiance had moved in indicates to me a lack of accountability. She seems to be driven by external forces rather than an internal moral compass, which is no go in the context of a committed relationship. Definitely not wife and mother material of your children here. Three, trust is broken. No way to dance around it. If you get involved with, marry, or have babies with a 304 like this, you deserve all the pain you get. Sadly, that child you both created didn't deserve said pain. That would be on you and her. You for sticking your D in a known 304 and her for not being able to keep her legs closed. Frankly, as an advocate for the child, I give you both a slap to the back of the head. Staying in a relationship where trust is broken and not restored would be seen as detrimental to one's self-esteem and, of course, masculinity. Take a lesson from this brother. You must keep your eyes, ears, and an open mind. Be on the lookout for red flags or discordant behaviors or information then ruthlessly pursue it. Once you have it, confront it and do it smartly. This is not a pass to be idiotically paranoid or create a problem where there isn't one. And now my full rhyme and verse take. In whispered tales at parties end, he learned the truth from a careless friend. A history hidden now laid bare, of love's betrayed without a care. With a trembling voice, he sought her out. She confessed it all without a doubt. Her past, her present, entwined in lies. A bond with Bob, she still denies. He took his ring, his pride restored. 
and left her there, no longer torn. For trust once broken can't be repaired. She was never his, just a love she shared. So he walked away, head held high. A painful truth, but no goodbye. For in the end, it is plain to see. She was never his, just his turn to be. In the comments section, give your thoughts on how well this brother handled things and on my rhyme and verse. If you found value in my channel, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who need to learn from this channel. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, or subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher, and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, click on one of these right now and watch another. Until next time.